landscape design around the house versus the other way around. So many projects we see is where they have a house, looks like it lands from a, uh, like a helicopter, plop on a lot, and then they circle it with plants, right? The idea for that behind is you want to think about, you, you want to feel like the, 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 the house was there, the, the property was there first, and you kind of like melded the two together. Sometimes we think about, you know, is there a certain rock outcrop? Is there a certain tree, a focal point? You want to blend it in. You know, sometimes flat and boring, like sometimes you go out in Long Island, those subdivisions are just long and flat. Where I am, upstate New York, everything is very hilly and you have a lot of characteristics of the land, and you really try to incorporate that so it kind of tends to, you know, form one unity. So when you've got like... Um... Uh, when you've got a client that's saying, hey, let's do some backyard stuff, you're, you're actually saying, hey, before we start telling me exactly what you want, let me take a look at what you already have, right? And then so, so we can kind of wrap that, so we can, um, you know, I mean, how do you like, if, if they're already, if the, the house is there, the property's there, obviously, because the land's already there, it's been there for what, hundred, no, it's, 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 it's the earth. So, so what do you, so what's your process when you're, when you're. So we'll talk about that and then I'll get some pictures. And the best part is you actually go out there and you got to walk the property, right? Not even with them. I don't even want them there. After we have the initial consultation, I like to go back and just kind of like feel the space, right? You actually feel the space. You know, where's the sun come up? You know, uh, is there certain uh, views I want to take advantage of? You know, you got you to be part of the space. Otherwise, you're just plopping little circles on a plant, but you really got to walk the space. You may see some kind of cool looking tree that has like a, a gnarly bend to it. How would that look with a light under it? You know, you want to take all the senses, all six of your senses, you want to kind of bring them all in. And that's how I design. Yeah, that's That's great. So what you're telling me there, Steve, is like, you don't like to have your client with you because you don't want to be influenced by what they're already thinking. You want to get in there with your own creative, creative mind, right? And kind of like enhance what, you know, and then come up with some ideas that's not um, I guess, inspired by your actual client? Yeah, because then I become an order taker, right? Now I'm just I'm just like, okay, what do you want? We want to pay. So basically they try to describe the feeling they want for their space, right? They, they, I don't need to know everything, just the feeling. You know, a couple of details. Hey, I got kids, I got a dog, I got, we entertain a lot, that kind of thing. And then from the from that, I kind of create the feeling of it. And then that, that's it. Once they, once they describe the feeling of it to me, and then I just basically go there, I walk the space and I, I kind of just title i designed it the way if it was my house right really i designed it if i was living there and i had four kids and three dogs and how would i use the space that's how i, I approach every project hey guys steve here if you like the videos please reach out to me my cell phone is 914-879-5602 email steve at stevegriggsdesign.com yes i still answer my own cell phone you know i've been doing this for 35 years i, I know what i'm doing and i tell you like it is and just reach out. There's still time to do spring projects, so feel free. Even if you just have a landscape question, really, just reach out and give me a buzz. Thanks, and have a great day.